Get that power armor on because we've got a ton of Fallout 76 news to go over right now, including very important beta news. I mean, this is extremely important. I think this will apply uh, to those of you on Xbox One, PS4, and even PC. You're going to want to check uh, your beta client for any updates before actually sitting down to play the beta. I'll explain in just a moment, but also... Bethesda has been added again. They posted a brand new faction image. You guessed it. This is the Enclave. We're going to be talking about them a little bit more uh, in just a moment. But also, I wanted to let you guys know, yes, you can finally submit your Fallout 76 gameplay, including settlement builds, character builds, rare finds, funny moments, and more. So if you have a settlement build, you just click there and you uh, link me your video. And also, if you find, like, something really cool, weapon, armor, location, boss, whatever, and you want it showcased, let me know. And I will credit you, by the way, uh, so don't worry. So check out that link in the description below. And then also, we're going to be checking out an amazing new interactive map here by IGN. Uh, this is really, really cool. So we'll dive into that a little bit more later on. Uh, but, yes, welcome back, my fellow Vault Dwellers and Wasteland Wonders two open world games let's get into that beta news and about that beta update so first of all i got some uh twitter posts from spoopy poopy Th special thank you for this he says do you know why the beta is updating and then another one from uh turtle burger who says fallout 76 twitter post and fallout 76 48 gigabyte beta update my jaw dropped when he sent this i was like no way so i opened up my uh you know xbox one went to the beta Oh, tried activating it going into it, you know clicking into it and it said you need to update your beta 48 gigabytes required this is a brand new update so the, this is so important because i want to let you guys know get it updated now don't be the guy that's sitting there you know ready to play the beta and it requires a 48 uh, gigabyte update i would hate to see that happening to you guys so also down the road keep in mind this could happen potentially to the ps4 version of the beta and the pc version so uh 24 hours to 48 hours ahead of the beta please be opening your uh you know beta client the actual beta game of fallout 76 before even attempting to play it to make sure uh if it does require a massive update because it would be awful for you to sit down right when those four hours come around that window that you get uh, your first time playing and then you have to download those 50 gigabytes so i wanted to let you guys know about that it would alleviate a lot of heartbreak and stress for sure so get to doing that and checking that out but yeah uh the official fallout account posted this brand new spanking beautiful image of the enclave and they go on to say the following just before the bombs fell u.s leadership relocated to a remote oil rig off the coast of san francisco the Enclave's mission to reestablish governmental control of America from key locations like a secret bunker hidden somewhere deep in Appalachia. So they're kind of going over the lore explanations as to why factions would be around uh, in West Virginia. But again, I think that these are going to be remnants and stuff like that. So uh, just keep that in mind. But uh, yeah, really cool image, of course. And we see here the other factions, just in case if you missed it again, the Brotherhood of Steel. Uh, you have the Raiders, almost blanked that one. Of course, the Responders, who seem to be more PvE-centric, and then the Free States. So, uh, really cool stuff going on here with the factions. And I think a lot of us, from what I'm seeing in the comments of my videos and comments on other communities, is that you guys want to see these factions to be an official thing. Of course, we're going to be responsible for creating them based off of getting equipment and stuff like that. But I think it would be even cooler for them to be, you know, official things where you can sign up to them and be recognized as part of the Brotherhood or Enclave. But a special thank you, by the way, to Robin, Wolfblood, and of course, Silverwolf, who never lets me down. Thank you guys for letting me know about that as well. You guys are awesome. Uh, join my Discord, by the way. We have an amazing Discord community. Everyone there is freaking awesome. So check that out in the description low uh but yeah uh let's go ahead and move on shall we uh let's talk about this map here this is so freaking cool so again links in the description below to the sources but this is a map by ign you can zoom in and zoom out it's super high quality too uh but of course it gives you an idea of what you can expect 
uh, from the world of uh, Fallout 76 if you wanted that sort of thing. Of course, this is where your journey is going to begin in Fault 76. You will emerge, as they say, and uh, you will be able to explore. Now, I don't think you guys want stuff spoiled, but these uh, uh, points here mean that these are public events that you can check out and that they will be activated. Of course, remember, public events are going to be timed in the game, so you got to remember that. But it's interesting to see how much I, uh, IGN was able to, I think, explore. I don't know if they had several people at uh, the event, gameplay event, or whatever. Uh, but they were able to figure out a lot of stuff here, uh, including Fusion Core Generator. It's located over here, just in case you want to know that. Of course, you want to keep some of this stuff secret, so I'm going to avoid clicking on all of it but we'll click on landmarks and stuff like that because we're gonna we could just look at the map and know uh the landmarks by checking those out but these are really cool top of the world we've seen some uh gameplay of that as well but it was running i think it was running for most people at a choppy frame rate so uh hopefully they get that fixed and addressed in uh you know the final launch of the game but this also looks really cool national isolated radio array and then also you have to remember that uh you'll be able to you know call in supply drops these are going to be government assisted supply drops as well and they're going to be definitely hotly contested areas i'm trying to look for radio antennas i think this is one of them relay tower i think these are going to be important and play a role in something because there's several of them i've noticed on the map where's the other one there's another one right here look at this well, that's the compound, but there's another exact tower. What the? It's a dock. What in the world? That's interesting. I have never noticed that before. Interesting. I wonder what that's all about. Is there an actual dock that you might be able to find on your way through the wasteland? That would be very cool. Uh, but, yeah, some really cool stuff uh, here, of course. Here is the ominous cranberry bog, which uh, I'm sure some of us will just beeline it straight to cranberry bog just to see uh if we can survive i'm telling you what you're going to be eaten alive so uh be warned about doing that one but some really cool stuff here i cannot wait to get to exploring here we've got estates uh these look uh definitely interesting checking those out we've seen some shots of this area uh right here this looks like it's going to be for mining in uh, a quarry of course and then uh i don't think they have uh any co-op building locations marked yet i really want to know those locations of course you have your uh theme park area right here we know that's going to be a big deal in this game as well we've seen indication of that and uh, i guess we're going to be expecting some mini games in some of these theme parks as well uh, so that will be cool and certain rewards perhaps dedicated to those mini games as well but i think a lot of us are going to go straight here to the mothman museum it seems like it's going to be an area that's uh uh, right off of uh, Vault 76 and a level uh, that we can actually handle. Like a, the level requirement, of course, that we can handle. Now, I don't know if the final map will tell us, like, the segmented levels. Like, this is going to be, for example, 32 through, like, what, 30, what, 40. I don't know if the map will finally tell us that or not. But I think that would be super helpful when exploring in the world. I hope it does. But, yeah, check out this map for yourself. It'll guide you along uh, your journey in Fallout 76. Uh, but yes, you know what time it is. It is time to go over your top comments. Leave a comment down below for a chance for it to end up in the in the video. But uh, yeah, let's go over the first top comment here. It comes from Todd Howard himself. <gasps> of course, that's not the real Todd Howard. He says, what if you could make a Native American build that has a bow and arrow and hatchet? Let me know if that would be cool. That would be cool. Of course, and it could tie a little bit into like a Red Dead Redemption 2 post-apocalyptic type uh, play style as well. Because, you know, Red Dead Redemption 2 is around the corner too. Uh, but yeah, uh, I think that that could be possible. It might be a little bit more difficult to do, but uh, to each their own. You know, we're, we are going to be getting, I think, those type of weapons in this game as indicated uh, previously. So yeah, go for it. Let me know if anyone actually pulls that off. Remember, if you do actually try something like that. Don't forget, submit your gameplay. You can tell me about a really cool build you have found, a weapon, boss, whatever. I will be sure to highlight it for you all. Uh, but moving on, let's go on to the next top comment, which comes from Brian, who says, Imagine an event where the game notifies two different factions in a server to a location where you can have your 
mini war over loot or land something i would like to see can you guys imagine that that would be so cool one of the coolest ideas uh, i've heard that that's something that i hope to see you know uh coming off of assassin's creed odyssey they have those big conquest events i don't know if anyone's playing it but they're called conquest battles and they're huge battles you kind of have to unlock them as you go along you have to like bring uh your nation that nation's power in the region down to a certain level and boom conquest battle same thing would be really really neat in fallout 76 it's just a gameplay mechanic that works very very well it's like this huge climactic battle uh, that you get at the end of you know doing a lot of different things and getting uh you know the ducks lined up uh, to initiate a conquest battle so it would be cool to see that for faction wars in fallout 76 all right malcolm says in oxhorn's gameplay from green buyer event i saw that he joined the responders from a terminal do you think that the other factions are going to be similarly joinable that is very possible that is uh definitely something to look out for in fallout 76 so yeah that could be uh potentially possible you know you uh we have seen that indication uh in the gameplay videos and i think a lot of these earlier factions are again going to be pointing towards more pve style gameplay at least that's what it seems like to me especially since the responders are, are what you guys are seeing at the beginning after leaving vault 76. next up we have max 2082 it says who says i'm going to focus on strength perception and endurance with a little bit of intelligence and luck i want to get to a point where i can tank enemies at the same time i'll put a few points into every slot as i want to have a high sneak the usually the usually hacking and picking uh i also want scra scrounger excuse me perk and those perks that makes food and ammo lighter if possible uh, I want my character to be a stealth sniper so I can take out my enemies before they even have a chance to attack me. Yeah, I guess stealth builds are viable and also they uh, have something for stealth in PvP as well where it makes it harder uh, for players to kind of track you with their VAT. So that's I think that's how stealth is going to be working uh, for that PvP experience. It's just making you more difficult uh to get uh you know a uh, tracking on you from that that system so yeah stealth sounds viable sounds like you have a good idea of what you want to do with your build for sure but yeah let me know out of all of the factions uh that we have seen so far which one is your favorite and who would like to join the enclave let me know in the comments down below sounds like we're going to have some choices to make in fallout 76 for sure but guys again thank you for all the support on the videos remember stay tuned smack that subscribe button turn on notifications and i stream every single day at facebook.com slash open world video games roughly around 4 p.m pacific time so look out for me but guys thanks for watching and i will see you guys soon enough in the wasteland take care